सो एट दी एंड ऑफ लाइक सेवन मंथ्स एंड फॉर लाइक एटीन नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट्स देर वर अराउंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवन हंड्रेड शिट ब्लॉक्स एंड दैट वॉज द स्ट्रेटेजी बिहाइंड लाइक द लास्ट डे रिविजन आई वॉज अ वेरी बिलो एवरेज काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट एट आई स्कोर लाइक अराउंड फिफ्टी फोर परसेंटेज इज इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड एंड आई वेंट विद बायो एज अ स्ट्रीम प्रिपेयर फॉर नीट यू जी गॉट अ गुड रैंक गॉट इन टू सेट जी एस मेडिकल कॉलेज इन के एम हॉस्पिटल मुंबई डिड माई अंडर ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम ओर देर ऑनली I used to write in my third year, second year, final year as well. But uh, I uh, like never, never been on a like very, very long ride. But then came the internship part. Like during my internship, I started uh, riding like very, very long, long journeys, like thousand kilometers, three thousand kilometers, three thousand five hundred kilometers, and so on. PMT ki exam di usme pass hua, aur fir uske baad me ye result samne hai. To bahut acha lag raha hai, bahut khushi ho rahi hai, aur. हर माँ बाप का जो सपना होता है कि उनका बेटा आगे जाए कुछ अच्छा करे Hi I am Dr Chiranjeevi and I am a Mero Plan C user and Mero has been my primary source of preparation I got a rank of 1450 in this November INI set I am from Sivni Madhya Pradesh it's a small village near Jabalpur I did my schooling from Kendriya Vidyalaya Sivni only and I was a very below average kind of student and I uh, used to score around 50 60 percentages in my you know final exams and after like uh, when I when I reached 10th standard uh, I got a zero in maths um, in half yearly out of 100 I was kind of thrown out of the Kendriya Vidyalaya school and uh, After that I joined Maharshi Vidya Mandir in Sivni itself and there I used to score uh, slightly higher because of you know the pressure that I will if I'll get thrown out of this school where will I go so that's how it all started and and because of the like because I used to hate maths and I had no other options left like arts and commerce were very you know in sivni they were not even an option so yeah so bio was the only option that i had left uh, prepared for neat ug got a good rank got into st gs medical college in km hospital mumbai did my uh, under graduation from or there only and completed my internship even i completed my bond from km only in forensic medicine department shifting from sivni to mumbai was a was a like entirely new experience what it was like a dream come true uh, to me so like moving from a very small village to a, a city a city of like a dreams i would say came was a beautiful experience to me i was from uh, 2013 batch and uh, during my mbbs i didn't join any coaching then after that covid came and i got stuck in my home for like uh, one year which was totally unexpected after covid uh, i went to mumbai again and then i started my bond and while i was doing my bond uh, i was like ki uh, i should go for plab because it was like a, a better option to me uh, it was like a better pay less work foreign country exploring and everything so i was like yeah i should go with plab then i came back home and i tried to convince my parents that i will be gone for like 7 years and they they were like ki mm, yeah you can but just consider staying over here in india only and try to get into pg so i was like yeah why not so i it changed my mind they convinced me to stay over here i decided to go ahead with neat pg and i i was like like how how i'm going to prepare so i asked my seniors ki like how 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 did they go Uh, so they suggested ki go with marrow and i bought the subscription so i was like my base was like zero i had to sc- start from scratch so i was like why not take the whole plan so i i got the plan c and i did not have any notes as i haven't joined any coaching institute back in my ug days so i was like yeah i'll get the notes as well so i got addition five notes and yeah plan c and i was preparing for neat pg which was um, tentatively scheduled on january 23 so uh, so i started preparing like that like keeping that in mind ki my exam is going to be on uh, january 23 neat pg and my day my day was i used to wake up at around 8 so anywhere around 8 to 12 so it was not that fixed ki yeah, i have to wake up at 8 and have study for 8 hours 10 hours 12 hours i used to study for 6 to 8 hours every day 
and uh, I used to study for like uh, 27, 26, 28 days and then I used to go out for like out of the town like uh, nearby cities, visit my friends, spend like a couple of days or three over there have fun and come back, get a restart and start my preparation again. After like six months or so, uh, I got to know that there is INESAT coming. So my friend was like, Ki, uh, you can give this INESAT exam. Uh, so it will be your first attempt. It will be your first attempt before your main need PG's first attempt. So I was like, yeah, why not? I should. I should be like giving this exam. And I was like, okay. I used to watch the Marrow original videos, the core videos. And then I used to annotate the notes, addition five notes with the with those videos. And after like uh, three, four videos, I used to solve the related uh, question bank. And again, I used to bookmark those questions and annotate any special point which I feel that was there very like in the which came in the neat PG previous years. So I started with the small subjects so that I can, you know, can get the sense of completion. I used to give like five to seven days for uh, short subjects and I used to give 10 to 15 to 20 days uh, depending on the subject, the longer ones. I got my first reading done and then I did not have time to revise all, all of that. I just had like 10 days before I said so I completed my first reading in October uh, 28th and then I had like 15 days left for the revision so I did my revision in those 15 days and appeared for the INESET exam one day I was uh, reading some notes and I came across a lot of like volatile stuff so I was like how to remember these uh, volatile things so I was like why not write it down on a chit block rather than making a separate notebook of it so if if I if I were to make a separate notebook of volatile stuff it will be uh, a lot that is called 20th notebook right so I was not very uh, you know not very in the favor of making that 20th notebook so I was like let's let's go and let's make those uh, sticky notes the, the, those chit blocks where I can have that highly volatile information in a in a very very short page for small subjects uh, there were like 20 to 30 chit blocks and the, for for like the for the bigger ones there were like 50 around 50 or 70 chit blocks so at the end of like seven months and for like 80 19 subjects there were around 600 700 chit blocks and that was the strategy behind like the last day revision what i felt was like if i could revise my entire whatever i have read in these six months or so if i could revise it in last 10 days i'm good to go that's what i felt i used to make notes of like like very very short notes like I'd, I may, uh, made ortho in like 20 or 30 pages I made derma in like 10-20 pages Opthal in around like 30-40 pages and so on So uh, when I used to make notes I used to uh, make it very very precise and make it very very concise So like leukemias it's given in uh, marrow in like 60-70 pages So I made one big page and made a char chart out of it like ALL, AML, CLL, CLL all those good and bad prognostic features and everything so uh, when I when I have to revise that I it will take me around 5 or 10 minutes max so my notes were all about that like uh, concising everything like collecting all the data from question bank from videos from notes and everything and putting it all together in one page so that I could revise that uh, information in my like end of the time of the preparation before the exam I tried switching to the revision videos these revision videos are beautiful they are they, they have been made with very very you know a research and I don't know how how they have made it but they are so precise they are so concise and they are so to the point that even if you if you have a time crunch and if you want to you know go through all, all of the subject in one go in like two three days or so so you can go ahead with the marrow revision videos so I started solving question bank from the very first day itself one of my senior Dr. Neeraj Kalra suggested me that start solving questions from the very first day of your preparation and it will be helpful and he was like he thanked me later so I was like okay I'll solve my questions uh, from the day one itself and it helped me somehow focus on the important points that are being continuously asked in the exams so I was like yeah uh, this is the point which I should focus more on and I shouldn't divert to other other topics which which were not that important 
so i used to solve around 60 to uh, 70 or 100 uh, questions every day and i kept solving those questions no matter what even if i if, even if i don't read i used to solve those questions in my like lowest of days where i where i didn't feel like watching videos or where i didn't feel like reading or going through notes again and again and same thing so but i used to solve q banks so after i completed uh, reading my like 10 subjects or so i got to know about at that time i got to know about the custom modules and i guess custom modules changed my life the way i look at question banks the way i solve mcqs custom module like a setting setting custom module to a medium level difficulty and starting with like 10 questions uh, at one go so i used to solve those 10 questions i used to read about the information that is there in the question the the description of the question so which was very apt and which was very precise and to the point so uh, i used to solve like a uh, 5 to 10 custom modules a day like 10 question each so i used to solve around 70 to 100 questions every day without fail and uh, even if i am not reading anything i i make sure ki like i solve those custom modules which include neat pg and ini set whenever i come across such questions which i feel which are uh, being asked uh, again and again repeatedly in either neat or in ini set i used to bookmark those questions who were long stem and clinical based so there is this one beautiful feature in maro uh, it's called schema there is an option uh, in the right top corner of the schema uh, where you can sort uh, all those uh, weak topics that you have had in your uh, question bank so when, when you solve those question bank the maro automatically um, identifies the topics uh, where you haven't performed that well so those are your weak topics so back then uh, i feel my seniors used to tell me that uh, make a separate list of your weak topics and work on it but now the schema has done it for you so you can just right click and sort your weak topics and solve it so the thing is how how you should improve uh, you should improve on your weak topics as well so it's not just polishing whatever you know like some favorite topic that you know you you lo- love to read it again and again it's not just that so i started giving gt uh as soon as i completed like four or five subjects so uh, as uh, as told by my seniors that start giving gts after like 10 subjects after you complete your 50% of syllabus but uh, some some people convinced me that start giving gt after like four or five subjects you are done with the four or five subjects so as to get the like you know the gist of the exam to get uh, an idea about how it's going to be how lengthy it's going to be what should be the time frame and how how you have to solve questions and how you need to get to know the stress how you how, how you need to tackle the stress basically and i started giving gt and and in my first gt i scored 200 out of 800 and at that time i i covered almost around like four or six subjects and then i used to give gts every monthly and i used to review it uh, the very same day and like it took me a day or sometimes it used to take took me like couple of days to review that gt and i used to make some notes out of it as well there were definitely some silly mistakes which i used to do uh, in the gts so i i in the next gt i try to like not to uh, commit the same mistake again and that's how like my score uh, went from 200 to around 500 in like my last gt before i appeared for the ini set one more thing which i want to uh, draw attention towards is that the gts are not not to uh, gauge your concept not to build your concept not to ge- like get a rank and like increase your graph rank 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 it was not for that i feel a uh, maro gts are for uh, recognizing your weak topics weak subjects more i'll say weak subjects so that you can work on those weak subjects better uh, otherwise you would be reading the same thing again and again there's no point reading again and again same thing definitely there is a key there's a room for revision but you should uh, like focus more on your weak topics and work on it so maro gt helped me uh, like uh, identify those weak topics i feel uh, there e- even if you'll give 5 to 10 gts and even if you c- can you know uh, understand that th- these are your weak subjects and these are your weak topics and if you will work on it 
your rank will definitely go up don't don't fall for ranks and numbers it's not the number game it's it's about how how you understand your uh, weak topics how you work on them and how you improve yourself so yeah last 10 days were the most important uh la- in last 10 days i was like uh, i made a time table uh and in that time table i was like uh, let's give a uh, one day for a long subject and then one day for two short subjects but then i tried it for two days it didn't work i rescheduled my time table and i was like i'll do two long subjects in one day and one short subject along with those two subjects so i i have made notes and i used to revise my notes which i have made through uh, like maro videos uh, in last 15 days i stopped giving any gt uh, but i used to solve those custom modules with only recent neat and inisat hashtag so that i'll i'll be more you know focused towards what is being asked in the exam my favorite maro faculty was uh, is rohan khandelwal sir and the way he teaches is amazing his voice is like uh, when i was writing my exam in the exam hall like his voices was all over my head like uh, this is the answer this is the answer the way he teaches like crisp precise and to the point he is like he is an inspiration so my uh, favorite feature in general of maro app was i i like the fluidity i like the stability of the app like it's so it was so smooth the animations and transitions and the and the and the way things were organized like there was a separate page for gts like separate page for uh, subject wise test there was a separate page for question modules and videos and revision videos and mcq discussion videos it was very helpful like uh, so if i had stopped any video like uh, anywhere in the middle and there are like n number of videos which i have stopped in like somewhere 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 and then when i used to like revisit that video it starts from there only and it feels so smooth the whole the application the transitions and everything was very smooth so people who are going to give a uh, neat pg this year my piece of advice is like even if you are making notes right now or uh, even if you are watching those revision videos or mcq discussion videos i guess uh, you should make little bit of revisable notes so that whatever you are reading right now you you can revise in last 10 days no matter how how much you have read before or no matter how much you are reading right now all of that will matter only and only if you could revise it before the exam right so i i would suggest that make your own notes or even if you are using those e5 edition notes you can use different color highlighters and you can go through that highlighted portion only like like strictly focusing to that highlighted part and keep on revising those those highlighted part so that you can finish one book in like half a day or one book in one day or two day whatever works for you so uh the point being is to just revise all those uh whatever you have read in your entire career or in these 6 months or whatever you are going to be reading till neat pg and you can solve questions as well you can bookmark them like i i used to bookmark the questions i couldn't revise but uh, e- even if you can't revise those bookmarked questions you can always go for custom modules and you can set the hashtag to recent neat and recent aims or i need set and then you're good to go my advice to juniors and uh, to the people who are like doing their ug mbbs is not 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 all about studies it's about uh, it's a lifestyle i feel so you can develop your uh, you know interest in anything which you feel like doing like if you feel like uh, doing like getting into any sport you can do that you can travel you can learn music you can uh, do a lot while doing mbbs it's not just about studies and like my piece of advice is stick to the standard books and even if you if even if you couldn't join any coaching classes or anything is totally okay if if your basics are okay you are good to go and i feel like final year and the practical exam it's more about the practical exam i'd say like theory everyone get through the theory exam but the practical part is the most important so go to the wards and get the clinical experience that is more important rather than reading the books and getting uh, into the studies all the time so uh, while i was preparing for neat pg uh, at my home uh, 
which fun fact which I couldn't give because I cracked Dainis at this year. So uh, yeah, while I was preparing, I came across this uh, non-registered NGO at my local place, which is run by my friends only, uh, Shubhrat, Praveen, and Arpit. So I I was like, I I saw that and it it felt like really really interesting to me. So I was like, why not? Uh, let's just go and part time work work over there. Let let uh, be a little part of it. So I went over there. So where. i saw that they the, these people were like painting walls planting trees and so many all this all the possible of social work they were doing so i was truly amazed and i was like okay i want to do it so i i went over there and i became a part of it a little part of it so i got a rank of 1450 and i feel i'll take whatever i'll get through this rank I'll I'll go till the open round counseling, and I'll I'll take it. I'll take I'll just take it, and I'll be content with it. I won't be giving need PG. I never appeared for the need PG, and I won't be giving need PG, uh, because it, it. I'm like exhausted in seven months. I'm like no, and uh, now I can't. Now I can't, I can't trade. I just can't trade, and I'm done. And I'm very happy with my rank and whatever I'll get. we have a family of 3 uh, i my mom and my dad and we have a pet uh, his name is hachi uh, so my father is a doctor he is a government medical officer is a district health officer and now he is retired and my mother is a housewife hi namaskar main jyoti hu और मेरा बेटा चिरंजीवी है जिसने हाल ही में एम्स परीक्षा क्रैक किया तो मुझे बहुत ज्यादा खुशी हुई है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है बेटू पहले चिरंजीवी का नाम है निक नेम है बेटू तो पहले मुझे ऐसा नहीं लगता था कि बेटू कुछ कर पाएगा क्योंकि खेल में ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट रहता था उसका और क्रिकेट बहुत पसंद था उसको और मैं जब उसको बोलती थी कि बेटा पढ़ाई करो तो वो उतना ध्यान नहीं देता था फिर उसके बाद में एलेवंथ के बाद में पता नहीं ऐसा क्या हुआ उसके बाद में वो बहुत अच्छे से उसने पढ़ाई किया और उसके बाद में यहाँ पर टॉप भी किया ट्वेल्थ में और फिर उसके बाद में उसने पी की एग्ज़ाम दी उसमें पास हुआ और फिर उसके बाद में ये रिज़ल्ट सामने है <laughs> तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है बहुत खुशी हो रही है हर माँ बाप का जो सपना होता है कि उनका बेटा आगे जाए कुछ अच्छा करे तो मेरे लिए मतलब मेरा तो सपना पूरा हो गया क्योंकि जो मैं चाहती थी वो मेरा बेटा बना वैसे चिरंजीवी अब्रॉड जाना चाहता था लेकिन मुझे ऐसा लगा कि इकलौता बच्चा है मैं कहाँ विदेश में बेटे को पढ़ाऊँगी इसलिए मैंने उसको थोड़ा इमोशनल होकर बोला कि बेटा नहीं यहीं पे कर सकता है तू हमारे देश में भी बहुत सी संभावनाएं हैं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है अब आगे के लिए ये है कि वो जो चाहता है बेटू जो चाहता है जो सब्जेक्ट लेना चाहता है उसमें वो सेलेक्ट हो और अपने मनपसंद मतलब क्षेत्र में जाके वो काम करे मैं डॉक्टर हूँ रिटायर्ड डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेल्थ ऑफिसर यहाँ डिस्ट्रिक्ट सिवनी में था मैं जून तक जून बाईस तक और ये मेरा बेटा मेरे से भी आगे पीजी कर रहा है और एम्स से तो ये मेरे लिए बहुत गर्व की बात है खुशी की बात है इसके जो बर्थ हुआ उसी समय से मुझे लग रहा था कि ये एक भाग्यशाली लड़का है कैसे कुछ साइंस थे और इसके बाद जब ये लगभग पाँच साल का था तो मेरे पास मारुति गाड़ी थी और ये मेरे गोद में बैठ के गाड़ी चलाता था तब मैं इसका कॉन्फिडेंस देखता था तब मुझे लगा कि नहीं इसमें कॉन्फिडेंस है इसमें कि तब मुझे लगा कि ये कुछ ना कुछ करेगा इसमें कुछ ऐसी बात है फिर स्कूल लाइफ तो बहुत नॉर्मल रही लेकिन एलेवेंथ से बहुत चेंज आया और फिर ये अब प्रोग्रेस करता गया और जब 2013 में इसके तीन कॉलेजेस में एडमिशन हुए इंदौर में ग्रांट में और के और फिर तो बढ़िया करता गया फिर मुझे लगता था कि ये कुछ सिर्फ पढ़ाई में है यानी तो मगर बाद में अपने को समझ में आया मेरे को कि ये गिटार भी बजाता है टेनिस में भी बहुत बढ़िया काम करता है प्लेयर है तो बहुत अच्छा लगने लगा मुझे अब मुझे लगना इसका मेरे को कॉन्फिडेंस था कि कुछ ना कुछ ही करेगा और किया आज बहुत ग्रेट अचीवमेंट जो मिला है एम्स में तो उससे मैं क्या सभी खुश हूँ मैं एम हूँ और इसके बावजूद मुझे ये नहीं मालूम था कि मेरे को क्या होता है फिर मैंने पूछा तो बोला कि हाँ भाई एक ऐप है इसमें पढ़ाई होती है ये होता होता है तो उसी को उसने बेस बना के काफ़ी कुछ मेरे से पढ़ा और जो अचीवमेंट मिला उसको एम्स का 
मुझे तो कॉन्फिडेंस था कि इसका एम्स में हो जाएगा ये बोलता था कि नहीं बहुत कठिन है टफ है लेकिन मुझे पता नहीं क्यों लगता था अंदर से कि इसका सिलेक्शन हो जाएगा और हो गया तो गॉड गिफ्ट भी है कुछ ये और मेरे का तो रोल है ही है नो डाउट वेन आई गॉड इन टू द कॉलेज एवरीबडी माई फैमिली वॉज लाइक डोंट डोंट बाय बाइक दे विल बी रैगिंग यू विल गेट यू विल गेट इन द व्यू फील्ड ऑफ योर सीनियर्स एंड देन दे विल रैग यू मोर एंड ऑल्सो आई डेन दे डेन लेट मी बाय माई लाइक बाइक इन माई फर्स्ट ईयर आई यूज टू लव बाइक सिंस चाइल्ड हुड लाइक वेन एवर आई यूज टू लिसन टू दैट स्क्रीमिंग एग्जॉस्ट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स बाइक आई एम लाइक ओ माई गॉड वट इज दिस I wanna just feel it how it feels to be over there, like on on the wheels, you know. So then, uh, yeah. So the interest was there like since since time. And when when I went to like uh, my second year, and my I convinced my parents, and somehow it all went like good, good, good. And I got my first bike. That was CBR 250R, uh, 2014 or 15 model. So I kept it for like a couple of years, but I I didn't go to like longer rides. I used to ride in the city, go to Marine Drive and Bandra and chill over there and come back for like 10, 20, 30 kilometers. That's it. So it was like a daily commuter. Then I switched to a uh, Street 750. I sold my bike. The, I sold my CBR and I bought a, a Harley Davidson Street 750, uh, which was uh, kind of my childhood dream. And then when I got that bike, I was like, why not let let's go on a longer rides, like hundred kilometers. So I started with very typical Lonavla ride, and then Nashik, and then Pune, and then Mahabaleshwar, and then that's how it it started. Like the traveling part, the riding part, the like. that's how you get connected to the nature like if it's there is scorching heat there is heat there is rain there is rain there is cold is cold so you get connected to the nature in a very different way so yeah that's how it all started the ridings the adventures and then i sold my street 750 in a like couple of years i drove it for like 25000 km or so and then i got my z800 which i still own which i still have right now here with me and i clocked around 25000 km in the bike same bike again uh and i have covered like a lot of states and a lot of places if if you'll ask me ki like wh- which all places you go i might not be able to tell you specifically ki where all i went i i did ladakh i was there for a month and i've i've been to places touristy places as well but uh, what i find like more interesting was the those of be destinations where there are no people the unadulterated experience of the nature is what what i found out ki that i like so we used to hunt those places in the randomly in the maps and uh, when we came across some youtube video or randomly hunting the streets like we never been to this street let's go to this street and we'll find something over there those types of rides i have i used to ride uh, i used to ride in my third year second year final year as well but uh, i uh, like never never been on a like very very long ride but then came the internship part where uh, i could like manage the postings as well and go on rides as well so uh, like during my internship i started uh, riding like very very long long journeys like 1000 kilometers 3000 kilometers 3500 kilometers and so on so and i even did this solo trip from like mumbai to sivni for like a couple of times and which which is around 1100 or 1200 kilometers which was pretty like uh, uh, i would say intimidating at the initial phase but interesting like as a whole the experience was truly truly amazing and that's how it all started so uh, one day i was walking like in, in the college only and i saw my seniors playing table tennis and uh, it was my first time like i belong to a very small city uh, it's a village so we do not have table tennis over here in sivni so i f- saw it for the first time like they are hitting the ball like top spin and chop and smashes and all those reflexes and all those quick gestures and movements i was so amazed like such a small ball such a short period of time like the ball is here in like one second in one fourth of second it's there and it's there here again and the people are like smashing it like anything and in sh- such a short table I was super amazed i went over there i asked my seniors i introduced myself and i was like can i play and they were like uh, do you play so I like no it's my first time so the environment was so friendly i i got i developed my interest in table tennis and that's how i i learned i started playing table tennis and then it really grew on me all those spin all those uh 
you know the sportsmanship basically so uh, i started learning by myself and from like youtube and everything and my seniors used to teach me as well so we used to practice for like 6 hours 8 hours a day and what not so uh, that's how i represented states uh, in like my third year and nationals in my final year so uh, like during the evening time in my hostel the main boys hostel my seniors like uh, they they stay they they were on the like first floor i was in the second floor and in the evening they used to play guitar and sing in the corridor and we used to get little, little sound so that so so i once once i went over there and i was like let's let me check like who all are singing what is going on so i saw that and that that atmosphere was so beautiful like people were playing guitar they were singing chit chat like people from different batches two year senior three year senior i was very you know like uh, uh, afraid of like going over there and talking ki like uh, how how do you play where do you learn and then i one one fine day i went over there i met neeraj kalra sir and he taught me like uh, how to play guitar a bit and i like yeah it is very interesting that's how i developed the interest and i learned it myself uh, mostly from the youtube only so yeah and i couldn't sing back then before that but then i learned somehow like singing as well bewaja bekar hu main tera yaar hu Uh, another thing i enjoyed doing was making videos so uh, i got to discover this uh, while i was watching those youtube videos those t- tutorials of guitar i was um, fascinated with the people who who used to make videos and upload it on youtube so i was like yeah why not try this so i used to uh, browse through all those videos of kz neistat and everyone so i was very fascinated so i was like yeah, why not try it myself so i learned a, like a little bit of cinematography course. and yeah i learned to use the software of final cut pro and then i used to make those cinematic videos which i used to upload on youtube or instagram anywhere but then i thought why not put it to some use for for the good of college so i made the convocation video so we had a team and i edited it i shot it and i it was it is there on my youtube channel as well it has crossed over 6 lakh views i am shubham trivedi and he is my schoolmate my friend my buddy his nickname is karan da karan <laughs> da karan da karan iske ghar jana hai fun time enjoy karna hai beyblade khelna hai cycle chalana hai he is so gadget freak person karan is one of the nicest person i have ever met because uh, it's not ki matlab main zyada tareef nahi karunga but it's still yeah he is a very good person genuine it's a good personality because he knows everything कि क्या इंसान को लाइफ में जरूरी है कब जरूरी है एंड इवन एट द राइट टाइम यू हैव टू पुश योर लिमिट्स मतलब ही इज द राइट पर्सन जो जानता है ये चीज बिकॉज ही ड्रॉप इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ ही टेक ड्रॉप इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ देन ये कोटा गया देन यू ऑल नो ही क्रैक द एम बी बी एस नीट एंड सो ऑन आप अब जान ही चुके उसके बारे में क्या ही बताऊँ देन आफ्टर preparing just for a small or i'll tell as a tiny 7 months because 7 month study is not so much ki usme aap ek itna bada exam crack kar pae this called aims aini set and uh, i'm proud it's good yaar acha lagta hai aise friends hote hain life mein aapko life mein kuch cheez sikhate hain aapke saath rehte hain aapke liye rehte hain that he's always with me With my family, with us. चिरंजीव को मैं बचपन से जानता हूँ और मेरा कजन बदल रही है इसकी <laughs> नहीं 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 और शुरू से ये बहुत अच्छा रहा है सब चीज़ें उसने बहुत अच्छी करी हैं पढ़ाई से लेके स्पोर्ट्स से लेके सारी चीज़ों में हमेशा आगे रहा है अच्छा किया है इवन जब ये कोटा में प्रिपरेशन कर रहा था तब भी मैं कोटा गया था मेरी उसकी मुलाकात वहाँ भी हुई थी उस समय भी जब ये तैयारी करता था तो लगभग सत्रह अठारह घंटे डेली की ये पढ़ाई करता था ये बहुत है गंदा बोल रहा है तू उस समय उस समय वो उतनी ही पढ़ाई करता था मुझे पता है अब वो बताता नहीं है लेकिन मुझे मालूम है कि उसने कितनी मेहनत किया है आ, जब एम बी एस की प्रिपरेशन कर रहा था उसके बाद प्रिपरेशन के बाद भी बहुत अच्छा प्रोग्रेस किया उसने और हम लोग बचपन से साथ में रहें तो लगभग हमारी बहुत सी चीज़ें सिमिलर सी हैं 
हमारी चॉइसेस हो गई घूमना फिरना गाड़ी गैजेट्स वगैरह ये सारी चीज़ें जैसा उसको पसंद है वैसा मुझे भी पसंद है तो मतलब ट्रैवल करना घूमने के लिए कहीं जाना साथ में जितनी भी जो भी चीज़ें रहती हैं घूमना फिरना हंसी मजाक दोस्ती यारी सब साथ में ही रही है और अभी भी जब तैयारी कर रहा था ये तो घर पे ही रह के उसने तैयारी किया है और ये बात जो सुबह हमने बोला कि सात महीने के अंदर इतनी बड़ी एग्ज़ाम को क्लियर करना ये थोड़ा मुश्किल है यस यस yes, yes. मुझे और... मुझे खुद यकीन नहीं हो रहा है मतलब जब मेरा रैंक आया तो आई वॉज लाइक सीरियसली मेरा रैंक है मैं चार पांच लोगों से चेक करवाया क्रॉस चेक की लाइक भाई देखो What is this? Is it true? हाँ बट एग्जाम दे के जब ये बाहर निकला तो मैंने इससे पूछा था कि भाई क्या होगा कैसे होगा तो इसने कहा कि यार देखते हैं बट उसका कॉन्फिडेंस देख के मेरे को ये लग रहा था कि नहीं शायद उसका एग्जाम क्रैक हो जाएगा बट वो खुद ही श्योर नहीं था बट मुझे ऐसा लग रहा था उसको देख के कि नहीं रैंक का तो नहीं कह सकता लेकिन हाँ कि क्रैक शायद एग्जाम कर लेगा करके और जब रिजल्ट आया भाई ने बताया तो बहुत खुशी हुई ऊपर से जब ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन फोर फाइव जीरो तो और भी ज़्यादा खुशी हुई कि हाँ यार कि अपना भाई अपने बीच का बंदा इतना अच्छा कर रहा है तो बस अच्छा लगता है <laughs> बहुत अच्छा <laughs> लगता है माय एंटायर सपोर्ट सिस्टम वाज माय मदर शी हैज बीन थ्रू ऑल दोज थिक्स एंड थिंग्स एंड सिंस आई वाज प्रिपेयरिंग फ्रॉम माय होम शी हैज बीन अ ग्रेट ग्रेट सपोर्ट ऑल लाइक आई कॉन्ट इवन एक्सप्लेन यू लाइक एंड देर आर देर आर डेफिनेटली अदर पीपल एज वेल लाइक माई फादर माई माई पपी हाची एंड देर आर लाइक माई फ्रेंड्स हु हैज बीन थ्रू लाइक ऑल एवरी सिंगल टाइम इफ आई वर टू पिक नेम्स इट विल बी इनजस्टिस टू अलॉट ऑफ पीपल सो या देर वर अ लॉट ऑफ हेल्पिंग हैंड्स एंड माई सपोर्ट सिस्टम माई फ्रेंड्स दे आर they have been a great help guiding me supporting me in every single step that i have been through uh, i want to thank my mom and my dad like i'm so grateful to have you guys like you have been such great parents and i am what i am because of you so thank you so much for being there always and always so uh, finally signing off with a few words of wisdom ki bhai tumhari life hai aur uske decision bhi tumko hi lene hain